Hey guys, what is up? It is me. I'm doing my first video, which is a review on the brand new 2015 Attack Goshog. This set retails at $25 and it comes with 229 pieces. Um, there are two figures that come with this set, the Master Chief and the Arbiter. Um, so yeah, let's get on to the figures first. So Master Chief, uh, it's a really nice Master Chief. Um, sorry if I stuttered a lot. That's a ha bad habit. He's got that little, um, crack in his visor. He is a little, uh, a different shade than, or a darker shade than other Master Chief. Now it makes, it looks like it's just like a, like a Chief with a black kind of armor, but it's not. If you could kind of see in the video, it is actually, um, black, I mean green. But if you had this figure in real life, it would just, it would look, uh, it would look green. Just like a really kind of darker beige kind of color. And yeah, he does come with the assault rifle. So, um, the Arbiter, he is pretty cool. Quite tall, too. If you take him, compare the height to Master Chief. Now, he is bendy and, uh, yeah. He's pretty tall, um, back to back. Here we got um a uh, Spartan Riot Shield, like my signature, my my new Sig Fig. So yeah. Um, he does come with a energy sword, the new one that's like more sleek and more like more more, more realistic to the game. The Arbiter has a nice headdress that has like these little fins on top and um yeah here's how it looks without it it's got that like it, it's got a red stripe here now honestly i don't think that it's supposed to be like this i think that it's supposed to look like oh crap okay I think it's supposed to be like another like trip going down, but I don't know. So let's put his headdress back on. Um, it's a really nice figure. The gold and the red just go together really well. Um, there are red there's red stripes going along his uh right arm. In that far arm, you can see it is a different shape. And come on, focus. And yeah, it's got that little um, caved part, which goes up. Or shoulder like usual, and yeah. So, this these two probably are probably my most favorite figures of all time, other than Riot, Mr. Riot Shield, Emil, and my other orange figure. Which, on one of my Instagram posts, I called him Spartan Rogue or something. I don't know. I forgot. So, let's put these figures away. And let's get to the main vehicle itself. Now, don't worry. We're going to get to that. The cannon. It's the gauze cannon. First, let's look at the other parts. So the wheels, it's got this nice suspension, not the old one. They actually changed it up a bit. They changed up the friction to that connects into those little peg holes that are in there. They use more, uh, they used um, pegs that are more tighter and that have more friction, so it doesn't just like go down like the old ones do. Instead, you have to push them down. So you can make more realistic poses when, like, you know, if you're trying to play down, going, it's going downhill or something. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. So, yeah. Or, like, you know, if you're going, like, on, like, weird, um, weird terrain, you go, go like this and, like, that. 
it's pretty cool. And it's got like little, little like feather pieces right here. Like little feather pieces right there. And you can see it. It's just like a little like, like a hill kind of shape. And they're actually a decently amount of size, uh, decently amount of pieces that are like kind of gold. If you get this set and it comes out of the bag, you'll see there's actually a lot of gold parts, but they aren't just they aren't visible. They aren't really visible. They're like pegs. They're gold and jerry cans, and they come in their own separate bag. So. Um, this was a really fun build, mostly at the front, because the front had, like, big pieces, and I love putting in big pieces, because it just fits so well. Now, sometimes, occasionally, when the chairs just pop out and you're trying to do it with force, it will disconnect, um, it will just, like, break half of the work But well, it's really easy, all, um, it usually just, like, takes this piece off disconnects this from like the front and then you know you could just easily put it back um the interior let's look at the interior um it's got a nice um kind of like a gold brown kind of interior and yeah um let me try zooming in okay so I don't know if you guys can see this. Well, let me just zoom out. But, yeah. That piece right there, it should have like a print. It should be printed. Do you have like a like a location thing or what or what or whatever? And yeah. Zoom out. Okay. Hey, that's actually kind of perfect. And sometimes the gauze cannon tends to fall out at times, but it's it's all right. Um, you got the front, which had these like little hole, like peg things that you could put stuff on. Let's say you want to put on Master Chief's gun here. Now I know it's not like I know it's not the most realistic way, but it's a toy, so just so whatever, you know. Just so like if you're moving around places and like you don't want them falling out or losing the weapons, you could just peg them on front. It's not really a big deal, and they're not gonna fall off because they are pretty strong pegs. But if you, but it does get weathered out sometimes, from time to time, if, uh, depending on how much you put the weapons in there. So. There are printed pieces on the front here. Um, two gold tiles right here that has um, two black um, printed stuff and the UNSC logo right there. Um, now, there's, like the printing is like much more larger than like the old kind of warthogs because the stickers were a little bit too small and you could barely see in the UNSC logo was really small so yeah the jerry cans can easily be popped off and you know you got the another golden piece right here and yeah just a look at the jerry cans there are two of them to make it look like the uh, halo 4 um warthogs now you guys are probably gonna say, "Oh my God, that's a Halo Five War hug." Yeah, but it's in the design of a Halo Four one. Honestly, um, I don't, I don't know. I haven't played Halo Four in a long time, so I don't remember there being a Goss hog. But the back, it's, is basically in the same design as a Halo Four War hog. If you have like the old Halo Leech Warthog from the uh, anti-aircraft um, base thingy, I don't know what's called the AA anti-turret weapon for the Covenant thing with the Rocket Hog. 
that is like the Halo Reach design, and I do have it. it I just forgot to take it with me on the review, so that kind of sucks. Um. So yeah. So let's get on to the Rock of the Gauze Cannon. So the Gauze Cannon. Um, I'm gonna have to move our camera. Like I said, okay. The Gauze Cannon is a pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty cool to have a Gauze. Uh, Gauze. Hug. Cause every time I would go to Target or like, uh, Walmart or Kmart or somewhere. I don't go to Toys R Us, so don't judge me. Don't judge me, because my parent, because my Toys R Us is pretty far from here. And yeah. So we just got to go to the mall that has Target in it. And it has a lot. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, there's nothing too special about the Rocket Hog. It's kind of like the old Rocket, Covert Ops Rocket Hog with the lights and sound. Um, so, it's just like a different skin color than it. But, and yeah. It's got like, it's really right side heavy, so just be aware of that. And it sometimes does like tilt like this. A lot but it's pretty good now this I recommend if Arbiter standing at the like at his like really low I recommend doing it like this and then make sure his right arm is not the one that's being like bent like being bent to hold this make sure it's like the left one so this thing so the gauss cannon can go up now, like I said before, you can create your own scenarios. So, you know, this could be like a two-person warthog. And it could be like an automatic gauze cannon. And it could shoot like on its own or something like that. So, yeah, this is a really, really great set for the price. Yeah, don't yeah, don't judge me guys. I use remotes to keep my phone in place or camera, whatever you call it. Now, this is actually pretty cool cuz on my first channel, I was doing cr uh, crappy vids with with crappy quality. It was like 360p. Some of them, some of them were even 240p. Now it's like 180p videos. So that's pretty cool or 720p so yeah this is a really great set to buy uh, great figures great vehicle overall really fun $25 for a pure awesomeness for 229 pieces a fun build yet kind of challenging build and yeah so it's a really nice set to have i recommend it a lot so yeah guys if you like this video please subscribe and hit that like button and comment what was your favorite part of this set and yeah so yeah this is halo blocks signing out peace out guys